talk is canceled. No! 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 This can't be happening! First they cancel Aunt Jemima, now they cancel TikTok. What the hell am I supposed to live for anymore? Unfortunately, it is true. TikTok is being canceled by the US government. At least that's what a couple various news sites have been telling me. So that means it's basically true. Now, I don't really have to worry about this, but I know for a fact everyone in America is trembling in fear right now. What will people do without TikTok? It is the only place on the internet where intelligent discourse can meet some of the most entertaining videos out there, along with the best pop music available in the world. Now, I'm not a Trump supporter, but if I was, I would be absolutely livid with him right now. He's gone too far this time. That systemic racism girl from Twitter is probably is probably really pissed that she supported him now. Ah, uh, yes, racism is illegal. How could I forget? Now, I know people have a new reason to be mad at Donald Trump every day. I mean, especially with how he's handled uh, the quarantine and, you know, certain other things that have been going on in the past few months. But this is absolutely the last straw. It can't get any worse. Kanye would never ban TikTok. At least I think so. I, I really have no idea what any of his policies would be. <laughs> I know there are some good reasons why the US wants to ban TikTok. Apparently the app collects tons of data from its users. And of course, because this app was created by a Chinese company, America is not okay with this. Now, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter or all over the internet, they've been saying stuff like, oh, this is so totalitarian, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter all collect the same data too, so TikTok isn't any worse. Well, you're wrong. You're wrong if you think that. The American government doesn't care about your stupid Facebook profile or your Instagram story or anything. They only care about China. China, 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 you take China. 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 I love them. China. China. That's right. Okay, I'm done. I'm done messing around so much. Okay, so basically on Tuesday, the U.S.'s Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, who I think is like the 48th Secretary of State that Trump's had. I, I can't really keep track of all these guys. Uh, he basically said that the U.S. is looking at banning TikTok. Now, a lot of people are really upset about this, particularly on Twitter, as I just said. I, I've seen a lot of people complaining about how this is like authoritarian and TikTok isn't any worse than Facebook. And if, if you ban TikTok, they're going to start banning everything else too. And there will be no free speech at left anymore or something like that. But if the U.S. does ban TikTok, this won't be a completely unprecedented move. India actually just recently banned TikTok along with dozens of other Chinese apps. And of course, this is because India and China are in conflict with each other right now. There have been a lot of border skirmishes reported between the two countries and some of the details that are coming out of it are, are pretty gruesome to be honest. So I, I can kind of understand where India is coming from. I don't think they're the biggest fan of China right now and I don't think China is the biggest fan of India either. The US military has decided to back up India in this conflict uh, and they've, they've made this clear, they've said this multiple times. Now you can see how this all ties back to TikTok. I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, the US and China have never really been best friends with each other and now this competition for world dominance seems to be coming to a head. I understand why the US is like is a little wary about Chinese companies like TikTok since they seem like they're about to get into some sort of conflict with China. Uh, but I actually disagree with them banning TikTok completely. Now, I've been getting pretty sick of all of these internet personalities getting canceled day after day. You know, we had Jenna Marbles, we had, we had Shane Dawson. I don't, I don't know who we're going to have next. Uh, but when I first saw that TikTok was going to get canceled, I thought, Hallelujah, finally something that is worth canceling. But the more I thought about it, the more that I realized this could be a terrible mistake for the US. I know it's hard to remember because so much has happened this year, uh, but at the beginning of 2020, everybody thought that we were about to get sent off to World War III. Everybody thought it was gonna happen. Now, I'm not saying that World War III is gonna happen now. I mean, I, you know, 
knock on wood but uh, i don't think it's gonna happen hopefully but if it does tiktok is super important earlier this year everybody was talking about their different plans to dodge the draft they were gonna go like run off to mexico or something and try to try to avoid getting caught up in this conflict and i think tiktok could be a really good way for the u.s to avoid this problem see during quarantine there's pretty much nothing to do except sit on your phone and watch tiktoks all day i mean i mean even i like i i hated tiktok before i downloaded it i still hate tiktok i think i hate tiktok more now than i did when i hadn't downloaded it yet but even i sit around for pretty much half the day watching tiktoks because they're just such an easy way to pass the time and there's pretty much nothing to do right now so this is going to be super important for the u.s government if there's world war three if they're trying to draft people you have to make sure that they still have tiktok they'll be so focused on their phones they probably won't even know that they're drafted until they're at the base getting their head shaved off i understand trump's concerns but i think he's going about it the entirely wrong way you gotta play the long game personally i have no problem with having tiktok on my phone i mean if the chinese government has all my information it's fine it's whatever according to the internet some guy from the fbi is just sitting at his desk all day just watching me on my webcam right now anyways so what's the difference if i'm canadian is it an rcmp officer who's watching me overall i just think tiktok's like a dumber version of vine but you know there are some good things on it I, i'm thinking of making a video where i talk about actual good content on tiktok because it, it's kind of hard to find but if tiktok does get cancelled i don't even know if i'm gonna make the video actually earlier today just before i started filming this uh some people were on twitter saying that they couldn't get into tiktok that it was down and stuff so Maybe it's already been canceled. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to keep on looking at the updates as as this story keeps on progressing. Am I a news channel now? I don't want to be Philip DeFranco. <laughs> I really don't want to be that. Yeah, but okay, long story short, TikTok is okay. I don't really have that much of a problem with it, but I understand that there are certain security concerns that the US has and I'm not the president, so I <laughs> I really can't say whether it's a good idea to cancel it or not, but all I can say is that I'm extremely depressed and upset that TikTok could be canceled because it is my favorite thing in the entire world. Anyways, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, Kanye 2020.